Yo, what is up YouTube? This is BY Gaming and welcome to episode 1 of Fossil Fighters Champions. So I actually played this game for the first time in I believe 7th to 8th grade and it was really really nostalgic for me. Not quite as nostalgic as Fossil Fighters 1 but I did enjoy this game nevertheless. I've actually played it all night a couple of times in middle school and that caused me to be really groggy the next day at school. But that's a story for another time. As you can see, this game has awesome graphics. There's even an opening cutscene here which we're going to let play out. And then once this is finished, we're going to jump right into the main game. So boom, cutscene is now over, and here is the main screen here, Fossil Fighters Champions. I believe this was actually called Super Fossil Fighters at some point. It might still be called that in the Japanese version, but we're going to hit tap the screen to begin. And we're going to hit new game. And I'm going to take this moment to ask you guys to like this video for the YouTube algorithm. That will really help me out. Also be sure to subscribe to my channel for future parts of this playthrough. I currently upload them every Monday and every Thursday. So mark that on your calendars if you don't want to miss them. Also be sure to check out my previous Fossil Fighters 1 playthrough that I just wrapped up on my channel as well. So that being said, let's hit story mode. And as you can see here, we actually get to choose our gender. So if you are a girl, you can play as a girl this time around, unlike in the original Fossil Fighters. But we're going to hit boy once again. Okay, so just as always, we are going to name ourselves BY Guy, because why not? Okay, same name, different protagonist this time. So BY Guy. We're going to hit OK. And then we are going to go with the 2D icon for our icon here. Hit OK. Is this OK? It absolutely is. OK, very nice. And without further ado, the game jumps right into itself here. So as you can see, the graphics are really, really improved over the original. This is really awesome for a DS game that came out in 2011. Quite impressive, if I do say so myself. And as you can see, the protagonist is just chilling here by a cliff. Okay. Hey, BY guy, how long are you going to stand around and stare at the scenery, huh? Okay, so someone named Todd. I'm guessing he's a friend of ours. There's Todd. Quit stalling and get over here, BY guy. Once again, I want to warn you guys that this game is very text heavy, so if I mess up, please forgive me. People say wild vivasaurs live up at the top of this mountain. Come on, we just went over this. A vivasaur is a dinosaur that's been revived from fossils. Man, I never thought I'd see one with my very own eyes. Now come on, we're not leaving until we get some wild vivasaurs of our very own. Okay. Race you to the top. Alright, so this is Todd, a friend of the protagonists. And we're apparently looking for wild vivasaurs here. Hey, I don't see any vivasaurs anywhere. Somebody must have been lying to me. Uh-oh. Be careful what you wish for, Todd. What, what was that? What's going on? I think there's something over there. Uh-oh. And boom, there's a wild Allosaurus just coming out of nowhere here. And as you can see, there are cutscenes in this game, which is really awesome. Allosaurus! Yeah, I'd be running too. It's gonna eat us! And of course, there's nowhere else left to run here. So, we're about to be eaten. And the game hasn't even started yet, so I don't like the looks of this. Uh-oh. Okay, but here comes a Pteranodon. And somebody's on top of the Pteranodon. Eek, a Pteranodon! Jump on, both of ya! Huh? Get a move on now! But, but, and of course the protagonist here is the brave one, literally just jumps right for the pteranodon off a cliff. Yeehaw, hold on pards. Okay, phew, you folks alright? Okay, and we were apparently just saved. Okay, so we're back on land here. Oh my gosh! Y you're Joe! Yep, that's me. Surprised you know my handle, kid. Of course I know you! You're the greatest fossil fighter in the whole world. Your fossil battle skills are legendary. You're Joe Wild West. 
I can't believe I'm actually talking to you. This is amazing. I must sound like a real nerd, huh? Uh-oh. The Allosaurus is back. Grawl. Eek. That Allosaurus is madder than a sack full of hornets. We can't let it leave the mountain all riled up like that or folks will be in a heap of trouble. Ain't no other choice. We gotta subdue the critter in a fossil battle. How about it, small fry? Think you're up for it? I'll even loan you one of my dino medals for the fight. So how about it? Ooh, oh my stomach. It hurts real bad. It must be that rotten banana I ate this morning. Yeah, that's it. Ooh. I really want to fight, but I don't think I can. So you'll have to fight at my place, BY guy. Okay, I mean that sounds fine by me. Ooh. Oh my stomach. Huh. Well, fair enough. Guess I'll be lending you my dino medal instead. I got four of them, so just take whichever one strikes your fancy. So this is how this game differs from the original. You basically have one of four options here. So you get to choose a starter Vivisaur, kind of like in Pokemon. Whereas in the first game, you just get a Spinax. So here's an Aerosteon. That there's an Aerosteon. He's a power type that overwhelms foes with his sharp claws. Toba Titanosaur. That's a fast-growing, well-balanced Vivisaur called a Toba Titanosaur. It's one of your more fashionable types. So it has life points and defense. Sintausaurus. Now that there's a Sintausaurus. It's a backup type Vivisaur that has great support skills. Okay, and then here's Demetrodon, which isn't technically even a dinosaur at all if I'm not mistaken. And finally we got a Demetrodon. It's a tricky technical type that can pound, confounds foes with special skills. That is a mouthful to get through. So that's all she wrote. Now dive in and pick yourself a Vivisaur. Okay, so normally when I play this game, which I've played it easily like 10 times, I usually go with Aerostean because it's really, really awesome and straightforward. But this time, I decided I'm going to go with something a little bit more unusual. So we're going to go with Demetrodon. I've never actually played with this guy. So we're going to choose the Demetrodon. We're going to hit yes. And that is going to be our starter Vivisaur for this playthrough. Grease my pants and call me slick. That's a fine choice there, small fry. Now remember, once you throw that dino metal at the Allosaurus, your Vivisaur will be unleashed. The strength of a fossil fighter depends on how much of a bond they build with their Vivisaurs. So make sure y'all trust each other and try to have some fun, alright? I mean, we're about to be eaten, but I guess we can try to have some fun. Alright, let's go! Let's go, Demetrodon! Alright, so here's the dino metal. Alright. And we are about to jump into our first dino battle of this playthrough. Or fossil battle, I should say. Okay, here we go. So as you can see here, the battle sequence is a little bit different than in the original Fossil Fighters. The fossil battle is about to begin. Your Vivisaur is on the left. The enemy Vivisaur is on the right. This here is the LP gauge. It shows the Vivisaur's life points. If a Vivisaur's life point gauge drops to zero, it'll be knocked out of the battle. So to win, just knock out the enemy Vivisaur by depleting its life point gauge before it does the same to you. Now then, let's make your Vivisaur attack the Allosaurus. The Vivisaur with the highest speed gets to move first. So this is another point where it differs from the original. So in the original, the opponent, or sorry, the member with the lowest life points gets to attack first. So if you have lower life points than your opponent, you get to attack first and vice versa. But this time it's about speed. You're attacking first. Ain't that a kick in the pants? All right. Vivisaurs need energy to take actions. This energy is called Fossil Power, or FP. That's pretty much the same as last time. Your FP was just recharged. FP is consumed when a Vivisaur acts, then recharged on the next turn. Okay, you'll use those icons on the bottom of the screen to command your Vivisaur in battle. To make a Vivisaur attack, you gotta select the attack icon. Alright, so let's hit the attack icon. Next, you gotta choose the Vivisaur that'll do the attacking. Okay, let's choose Dimitro. Now choose the skill you want to use from the skill panel. Dimitro Fang. Choose the skill to use. Whoops. Finally choose the enemy Vivisaur you want to attack. Okay, boom. Dimitro Fang. Okay, very nice. Remember, a Vivisaur can only attack once per turn. 
If you ain't got a Vivisaur that can attack, go ahead and select the end icon. Alright. Let's end our turn here. And yeah, as you can see, the graphics are definitely improved from the original Fossil Fighters here. It's the enemy's turn now. Get ready for the Allosaurus's attack. Alright, so we're going to take a hit here. But Allosaurus is a close-range Vivisaur, which means that since we're farther away, it's not going to do as much damage to us. Okay, and we have FP Absorb, which means when we're attacked, I believe that gives us FP. Hooey, that was a powerful attack strike. That was right. That was a right powerful strike there. But now it's your turn to your turn to hit back. I think you're good from here. Just do like I showed you, and you'll be fine. Okay. So let's keep on attacking here. Great, that's how it's done. All right, let's keep on hitting the Allosaurus here. We're doing a pretty decent amount of damage here. Hot dang, the Allosaurus seems to have settled back down. Okay, actually, we don't get to defeat it here. We were just trying to tame it. That Allosaurus finally calmed down and went back into his Dino Metal. But I thought it was a rogue Allosaurus, like it didn't have a Dino Metal. Nice job, Small Fry, you did real good. You ran that fossil battle like a pro, BY guy. You're awesome. Huh? Hey, my stomach doesn't hurt anymore. Yeah, well, who cares about that now, am I right? This Allosaurus was abandoned by some cruel fighter. Reckon that's why he had his shorts in a bunch. Vivisaurs need to be with fossil fighters they know they can trust. If they're abandoned, they go feral and their true nature emerges. That's why I'm here, actually. The Fighters Association asked me to round up rogue vivisaurs. Ah, shucks. Where are my manners? You know this already, but I'm Joe Wild West, and I'm a fossil fighter. You, intro you introduced yourself as BY Guy. I'm Todd, and BY Guy is my best friend. We always cheer for you on TV, Joe. Our dream is to become great fossil fighters just like you. Aw, oh, shucks. You small fries are gonna make me blush. But y'all ought to aim a little higher. Don't try to be as good as me. Try to be better. Well, I suppose I should think about seeing you two home, but I ain't quite done with my job yet. I've still got one more Vivisaur that needs rescuing, you see. But y'all seem pretty capable, so I trust y'all can make it home. Sorry, the way he talks is a little bit hard to kind of translate over here. Aw, oh, bacon. I darn near forgot that dino metal I loaned ya. Tell you what, BY guy, what do you say you keep it as my way of saying thanks for all the help? Alright, I'll take it. Oh man, if only my stupid stomach hadn't started hurting. Listen up, small fries. If you love your vivisaurs and share their passion for fossil battles, then y'all can accomplish anything. I look forward to the day you, you both become proper fossil fighters. But for now, I gotta mosey on down the trail. Adios. Okay, see you, Joe Wild West. And thanks for the free Dino Metal. We got a Dimitrodon here. Wow. We just got advice from Joe Wild West himself. No choice now, BY guy. We have to become fighters. Yeah, I know you want it bad, but not as bad as me. Yeah, sure, Mr. Stomachache. Next time I see Joe, I'm gonna be a full fledged fighter. Okay, so that was the opening sequence with the Allosaurus there. Two years later. Okay, so this is a time skip. I know there are a lot of jokes about time skips in anime. This is the time skip arc. I can't believe it's finally going to happen, BY guy. My heart is beating like a jackhammer. We're going to be in Joe's very own tournament, the Calio Steel Cup. All the cool fighters just call it the Cup for short. Okay, so there's going to be a Fossil Fighters tournament apparently. Joe would be amazed to know we made it through the preliminaries and came all the way here. Hey, I can see Calio Steel Fossil Park. That's where the cup's going to be. Okay, so we're in a helicopter. What does that remind you of? I kind of get Jurassic Park vibes from that, but... Ribular Town. Okay, so this is going to be the first place in the entire game. And not long from now, we're actually going to save the game because it's been quite a while since we saved. Okay, so the helicopter just dropped us off. And here we are in Ribular Town. 
Welcome to Calyosteo Fossil Park, a prehistoric world of dreams, dinosaurs, and adventure. This park was founded by none other than Joe Wild West, the superstar fossil fighter. It is composed of three islands, Ribular Island, Cranial Isle, and Ilum Island, if I'm saying that correctly. Visitors are welcome to excavate fossils and revive as many vivisaurs as they like. And of course, there's plenty of fossil fighting to be done. But for now, please make yourselves at home here in lush, green, ribular town. Beep, beep, boop. This is an important public service announcement from Calio Steel Fossil Park. Registration for the Calio Steel Cup will be ending soon. Fossil fighters who have not yet registered should enroll at the fighter station immediately. Beep, beep, boop. Okay, so we better hurry here. Eek, they're gonna end registration. Come on, we have to get to that fighter station right now. Hmm? The fighter station? It's the building right behind us. Okay, there's the fighter station. The fighter station is an integrated facility serving all your fossil fighter needs. It has a cleaning room for fossils and it, it is also home to a fossil stadium where fossil battles are held. Come on, let's stop standing around and go register already. Wait, please, there's something very important I have to tell you. To open the main menu, press the X button or touch the icon in the bottom right corner of the screen. To open the save options menu, simply press start. Now you should go register while there's still time. Okay, sounds good. Firstly, we're going to save the game here because it's been a while since we have. We're going to go and save the game here. Okay. 13 minutes so far. Now we are in Ribular Town. Do I want to quit? No. We have to register really quickly, and then we're going to get on with this. Okay. Let's get to it. Here is the fighter station. Hey, over here, BY guy! Hello and welcome. I take it you want to enter the Calio Steel Cup? In that case, may I please have your name? You told your name to the receptionist. Thank you very much, BY guy. Your qualification through the preliminaries has been confirmed. Please wait here. Someone will be along shortly to instruct you on our facilities and rules. Okay, so here is the boring part of the game, so to speak, because things are obviously going to take a while to heat up, just like in the original Fossil Fighters. Hey there, I'm Stella. I'm the staff leader here on Ribular Island. You guys just made it in time, but since you did, I'm going to start the tour in the most important place. Okay, right this way please. The most important place? What do you think that is? Oh, it's the cleaning room, isn't it? Okay. The music is pretty catchy, so that's really awesome. The cleaning room. Okay, the cleaning room we know and love for reviving vivisaurs here. Welcome to the most important place for fighters, the cleaning room. This is the cleaning machine. It carves fossils out of their rocky prisons. And this machine revives vivisaurs from the fossils. That's some pretty high-tech stuff. Yes, we try to stay up to date. As such, these machines may be a bit different from what you're used to. I'll explain how to operate them now, so please pay attention. Okay. So here's a cleaning tutorial. First, let's give cleaning a try. This is a fossil rock. There's a fossil buried inside it. Cleaning is the process of extracting fossils by carving away the rock without damaging the fossil. You can see how well your cleaning is going in the upper screen. If the stone is being carved cleanly, the blue meter will increase from the bottom. If you damage the fossil, however, the red meter will increase from the top. If the blue meter rises above the line, it counts as a successful cleaning. But if the red meter drops below the line, the cleaning is a failure. This is the remaining time. Once this hits zero, your cleaning is over no matter what. Why is there a time limit? I've always wondered. If the blue meter is above the line when time runs out, it counts as a successful cleaning. If you want to stop cleaning before the time is up, just press, just press start. So long as the blue meter has crossed the line, your cleaning will be counted as a success. 
Next, I'll describe the tools we use for cleaning fossil rocks. The three icons you see here are the tools used for chipping and carving stone. First, we have the drill. Select it and touch the fossil rock to carve away stone a little bit at a time. If dust from drilling makes it hard to see, blow into the microphone to clear it away. Next, we have the hammer. Select it and touch the fossil rock to smash large patches of stone. And finally, there's the x-ray. Choose this to get a brief view of the fossil inside the rock. Okay, let's try your hand at some actual cleaning. Okay, so very similar to the original Fossil Fighters, nothing to really worry about. Actually, let's hit the hammer first. Same thing as always, let's just use the uh, x-ray here. And it looks like we have a very familiar Vivisaur waiting to be revived here. So let's go ahead and do this. And then let's start getting to the uh, drill here. Do you see the white bone emerging from the stone? That's the fossil. When bones start appearing, switch over to the drill. You want to be careful not to damage the fossil. All right, so let's keep on doing this. It's pretty similar to last time, except for the graphics obviously are better. But you can see here that cleaning is very similar. There are some new touches and new features to cleaning in this game, but I'm not gonna spoil that just yet. We're gonna get to that later down the line, but for now, we're just gonna focus on cleaning this fossil. Okay, so it looks like we're doing pretty well here. We haven't quite damaged it yet. Looks like we haven't damaged it anyway. I don't see any red. We're gonna keep on doing this get the horns out. I think we're missing a big bulk of the skull here as well on the bottom. Let's keep on doing this. Let's just do the best we can here. Let's try and aim for a smashing success on this because this is the first cleaning mission of the entire game. Okay. There you go. Down to 20 seconds. Just like in the original, time passes very, very quickly when you clean here. And it's over before you know it, so we're down to like 15 seconds or something like that, right? Let's just do the best we can here. Oh, we're down to like 8 seconds. We have to hurry up and get this out here. Okay, we got a smashing success. 96 points, so not quite perfect, but pretty darn close here. A smashing success. Frankly, I don't even know why I'm here. Well, anyway, keep it up. All right. Nice. It's my turn now. Excellent job, you two. Now let's go revive your fossils. Okay. Now we are going to revive a Tricera skull, it looks like. Nice. Okay, so boom. Here's the revival process. And obviously the graphics have been improved on. I've said that many times throughout this so far, but there's Tricera, which is really awesome. We get a Tricera in the very beginning of the game here. All right, Tricera it is. He's a very solid Vivisaur in this game. Okay, so as you can see here, the screen is a little bit different from the original, but as I mentioned, the graphics are really good. And see all the extra details here. None of this matters right now, but it is at rank 1, a mid-range large, and it has good support effects here as well for attack and so on. Let's go ahead and go back here. Okay, so once this is over, we are going to wrap up the first part of this playthrough. Once revived, a Vivisaur is contained in the form of a Dino Metal. And here you go. These are your own, very own Dino Metals. Okay, so we got a Triceratops Dino Metal. Very nice. So we have two dinosaurs so far. Or two Vivisaurs. A Dimitro and a Tricera. If you want to practice cleaning before the opening ceremony, just talk to Greta over there. Okay, she'll let you practice cleaning as often as you like. But just know that you can't revive a Vivisaur from a practice fossil. Okay, there's really no point then in my personal opinion. Now I'll explain the rules we use for fossil fighting. Let's head over to the fossil stadium. Okay, so I think this is going to be the next part of the tutorial here. We might as well finish this up really quickly before we end this part off. So let's head on over to fossil stadium. This way, BY guy. The sooner we get this over with, the sooner we can enjoy the rest of the game here. The Fossil Stadium is through this door. Fossil Stadium. I'm so excited I could puke. 
Okay. Yes, let's try not to do that. Our floors are very clean. Anyway, please follow me. Okay, here's Fossil Stadium, the waiting room. This is the Fossil Stadium's common room. F fighters entered in the cup will often gather here. Oh, and when you get a notice about an upcoming match, be sure to come right away. Hiya, I'm Devin Strait. Wow, Devin Strait, get it? Devin Strait? This game is just as shameless as the original as far as these punny names go. But anyways, I'm here to get you familiar with all of the cup's fossil fighting rules. First off, let me show you how a team is assembled for battle. This screen is where you choose the vivisaurs that will accompany you into battle. Here you can see the vivisaurs on your active team. Your, your opponent's vivisaurs are shown up here. The three vivisaurs set in this section are the ones that will appear in battle. The orange colored section is called the attack zone or AZ. The blue colored section is called the support zone or SZ. Vivisaurs in the AZ receive support effects from any vivisaur in the SZ. The screen section the green section is for reserves. Vivisaurs set in these two spots won't appear in the fossil battle. Here's why you start. Here's where you choose your team's formation at the start of battle. Your team can take the Jurassic formation by putting two vivisaurs in the AZ. Or you can choose the Cambrian formation by putting two vivisaurs in the SZ. Examine the other team carefully, then pick your vivisaurs and their formation for the battle. Once you're ready, touch ready to begin the fossil battle. Okay, so it's very similar to the last game, except this time you can do different formations, such as the Cambrian and then whatever else they just said. Now I'll explain how an actual battle works. I've got some demo teams, so let's go into the fossil stadium. We finally get to go inside a fossil stadium. Come on, come on. All right, let's go do this. We just, I'm pretty sure, learned how to do this a while ago, but why not once again for more practice. Alright, let me show you how team battling works. The three zones closest to the enemy side are the attack zones, AZ. The three zones farthest from the enemies are the support zone, SZ. This is the Jurassic formation with two vivisaurs in the AZ. This is the Cambrian formation with two vivisaurs in the SZ. You conduct battle using these two formations. When in a team battle, first attack always goes to the team with the highest total speed. A low speed vivisaur can be teamed with high speed vivisaurs to make up for its weakness. Did you see how support effects from vivisaurs in the SZ were applied to those in the AZ? In the Jurassic formation, the support effects of the vivisaur in the SZ apply to both in the AZ, but because the support effects are split between both AZ vivisaurs, their power is halved. In the Cambrian formation, the support effects of both vivisaurs in the SZ go to one AZ vivisaur. If you have a single powerful vivisaur, use this formation and stick it in the AZ. Okay, makes sense. Every vivisaur has a range in which it's most effective. If a vivisaur attacks an enemy that's in its effective range, it inflicts extra damage. On the other hand, if it attacks from an ineffective range, it won't do as much damage. To check the, the effective range of your vivisaurs, use the information icon. Okay. Do you see the tiny arrows pointing up on the enemy vivisaurs? If there's a circle next to an arrow, it means that enemy is in your vivisaurs effective range. If there's an X by the arrow, it means that the enemy is out of your effective range. If your selected vivisaur is at its most effective range, a star will appear beside the arrow. These marks are also shown when attacks are being carried out in battle. Okay, let's move on. Press the B button to close the info screen. To change your team's formation, use either of the two rotation icons. Touch the icon on the right to make the team rotate clockwise. Touch the icon on the left to make the team rotate counterclockwise. You can also rotate the whole team by selecting and sliding a vivisaur directly on the field. Rotation costs FP, but you'll only but you'll only be charged for the number of spots moved from your original position. So until you make an actual move, you can rotate the team as much as you like. Before a vivisaur attacks, consider rotating it to a range where it's most effective against the target. Okay, now you can rotate your team and attack to your heart's content. Just remember what I told you. When you're out of FP, select the end icon. That'll also end my lecture if I happen to be boring you. Oh wait, almost forgot. 
If you select the auto icon, your Vivasaurs will battle on their own, but I'd seriously avoid using that for now. Uh, yeah, that doesn't sound too reliable. So anyways, let's move this way. Let's attack with Running Smash. Now we can see a star by the Alio here, so let's hit him with Running Smash. Boom. That's going to be optimal damage. And let's end our turn. Okay, seems simple enough. Okay, that's it for the lecture. Class dismissed. Alright. Sounds simple enough. Shouldn't be too troublesome. But definitely more complex than the original Fossil Fighters, if I dare say so myself. One last thing to keep in mind. If a fighter lacks strategy or their Vivasaurs lack abilities, victory will, be, will prove impossible. Remember that, alright? Now get out there and show them what you're made of. Good luck. So much text. That's it for the orientation, you two. You're now officially entered into the Calio-Steo Cup. Your opponents will automatically be chosen by the computer. Also, whenever you finish a cup match, you'll be granted access to a new dig site. Oh wait, I almost forgot. I have your Paleo Pagers right here. Paleo Pagers? What's that? Ah. I see. We send news and notices out to Paleo Pagers via the Fossil Messaging Service, or FMS. Beep boop beep. This is an important public service announcement from Calio Fossil Park. The Calio Steel Cup opening ceremony will be kicking off shortly. All interested parties should meet in front of the fighter station. Alright. Okay, that's my cue. Good luck, you two. I bet the opening ceremony is going to be awesome. Maybe Joe will show up. Okay, so this is where we are going to end part one of our playthrough here. Sounds pretty cool. There's going to be an opening ceremony, so we're going to leave that for next part. But we're going to save the game here, and it looks like we've been playing for 28 minutes so far. And I believe the actual recording is going to be over 30 minutes long. So we're going to end this part here. Thanks so much for jumping right into this with me, guys. This game is really fun, um, even though it also takes some time to kind of warm up just like the original Fossil Fighters. But I hope you stick with me through this playthrough. Once again, please like this video for the YouTube algorithm. That will really help me out. Also, be sure to subscribe to this channel for future parts of this playthrough. And as always, this is BY out. Peace!